Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Flat, and welcome to a picture on a screen. So, I found this challenge on uh, Reddit, I forget how long ago, at least a month or so ago. And I wanted to try it out, and I was going to do it on my PS4, but then since I'm like, I have Skyrim on PC, so let's just do it on PC, if I can. Um... Granted, all goes well when I try to record it, but um, otherwise, if not, this will be put in before I try to do it on PS4. Um, on PC, I do have a lot of mods, but I turn off the ones that may conflict with this whole challenge, so... Yeah, so I have to use a random number generator, which I have on a different tab in this uh, window, and so I get to generate my race, faction, my follower, and my playstyle. Um, on the top right says the faction is the first quest line that you complete. Playstyle determines the three core skills you use, although you may focus on others as long as your class doesn't restrict them. The follower determines excuse me, the limitations on what your follower is allowed to be. And on the bottom Play on Expert. After you defeat the first dragon, if you die, you delete. So, fun, hardcore challenge. It's basically like a Pokemon Nuzlocke, in my opinion, but a lot tougher. Um, and this would be, this is going to be a good experience because I have always just played as a Nord in, uh, the companions and I don't know what kind of follower I always have I guess I just I maybe I don't ever have a follower yeah I never have a follower um, but then my playstyle is always a knight so yeah so this should be fun um, let's see if this will come up yay okay so Let's pick the... I guess we should pick the... Or actually... Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just go with the race first. Let me get a... Let me get something to write this down on. I have like two different notepads, but... Because this one has a quote that I've liked out of a YouTube video. So... Got race, play style, follower, and what was the other one? Faction. I'm kind of thinking right now, um, I would just skip over the entire, um, the whole introductory scene when you're on the wagon, you're going into, um, Helgen. I'm surprised I remember that. It's been a while since I played Skyrim, so I probably delete. I probably would skip all up until that point, until we get to the actual creation of the character. So yeah, I have to pick from numbers zero through nine, and I'm a little nervous <laughs> because I've hardly played anything beyond whatever I'm comfortable with. So here we go. Race number three. So we're an Argonian. Perfect. I've played an Argonian before. For the most part. Let's make sure I spell that right. For the most part, I've played as an Argonian um, for the Thieves Guild. So, okay, I think now would be important. I think follower would be important the last. So then let's move on to playstyle. Um, and then faction. Also... Like, this was, I guess this was made when Expert was still a thing instead of Survival, but Survival was only out for community creations, so... I got, I'm not sure what all is in Survival, just, I, I think just that you need to sleep at certain hours, uh, 
be able to eat and drink certain things or they have certain effects just like uh survival in Fallout 4. Um okay, so let's move on to play style. We get number 6, which is a necromancer warlock. Conjuration, destruction, and alteration cannot use restoration and alchemy focus. This is extremely different for me. Necromancer Warlock. Okay. Um, now we'll generate the faction. Number five. So we're vampires. Hmm. I guess that works. Uh, I guess that works. <laughs> um, with that kind of play style and being a vampire. I guess that works. So we're vamps. And last but not least, the follower. So we get same class as you, wizard, knight, ranger. Same race. And I just love how Lydia is just a choice all on her own. So here we go. For the follower, zero. Same class as you. So I'm guessing that means the play style. Yeah, because same race. Okay, so I need to at some point find a necromancer warlock follower. And I, I don't know any of the followers off the top of my head besides Lydia and some other characters, but I don't know what their focus is. So I need a Necromancer Warlock follower. So I'll have to do some research on whoever is a Necromancer Warlock follower. So those are my stats. So again, I'm going to be playing as an Argonian. Necromancer Warlock, who has a follower of the same playstyle, and I'm siding with vampires. So, huh. the faction is the first quest line you complete, but we have to defeat the first dragon. So I'm a little confused on how the order is going to go. I guess realistically. Um, I can play basically like the way I was first inter um, interpreting this when I saw this was like you could go like the entire game without doing any of the dragon stuff and then as soon as you like be Alduin or something then you or no as soon as you do like all your faction stuff then you can go do all the dragon stuff but I think the intention is for you to um, beat the first dragon and then proceed on to your faction stuff. But again, faction is the first quest line you complete. So the only way I can figure to be a vampire is either to find vampires in the game or just play the game enough so I can start the Dawn Guard DLC and side with the vampires. There's there's not a whole lot of ways to start vampires besides just getting attacked by a vampire. So so that's that. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Um. Again, I might just end up doing this on PS4. Ideally, I would like to do this on my PC, even though my PC is not the greatest, but I have a ton of mods installed for a more immersed experience. Um, looking at the recording time right now, I actually might just make this a video on its own and then start at a different time. Um, again, either on PS4 or on PC, if I can get my PC to record and still maintain a solid frame rate. So, yeah. 
that's that. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call this. I don't I don't really want to call this like a Skyrim Nuzlocke, but like I guess let's call it Skyrim Skyrim Roulette um playthrough. I don't know. So <laughs> Alright, well I guess that's again, that's all I can do. I have to probably dig in to do some research on how to at least start vampires besides Dawn Guard. I mean, that's the only way I can think of either that or try to start like a non Dawn Guard um, vampires quest line or something like that. But uh, yeah, otherwise, that's it. So, I hope you guys are going to be excited for this as much as I am. I'm a little terrified at this point knowing my play style. So, yeah, here we go. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited for this playthrough, make sure to drop a like, and I'll catch you guys next time.